everyone, naps for ya. Today is my five year lock -versary. Um, Stay tuned for pictures. I don't know if I'm gonna put pictures at the end of the video or at the beginning. So of course, if you're watching this and they were at the beginning, there will not be any at the end. But um, today is June the 14th. This marks five years that I started locking. Um, it has been really interesting just to fast forward a little bit or kind of catch some of you um, up to date that might have just now been watching my channel. I started out with the two strand twist. That was the method that I started out with, with maybe about three, um, three, four inches of hair. I started out with a two strand twist and I started out going back and forth the, maybe the first year. Uh, doing the palm rolling and doing the interlocking with the tool. So then, after that, I was like, eh, I don't want my locks to look neat. That's just my term, neat anymore. So then I started to let them free form or no longer manipulate as far as tightening or palm rolling. Okay, so I stopped that. So then, why am I yelling? I don't know. But... Uh, always talking loud. I tried to articulate my words real quick. So then, um, <laughs> I guess when we think we articu are articulating our words, we have to talk louder. Uh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. So then what ended up happening was I did not like the way, once I started to freeform, I did not like the way that they were looking. The back has started to draw up because all of the locks were starting to connect together so the back was going up if that makes sense and it was connecting with the ones in the middle so then I was like uh no because my back was short and I was on, I was on my little back I hang down I was on my little back to touch my shoulder so then <laughs> I started to cut them away from each other and pull them away from each other and some of you might recall that so where we are today is I still uh, get in the shower and wet them. Sometimes I'll use the peppermint Castile soap, you know, just that. And I still do the rosemary rinses. Um, but that's pretty much where I am now today. As you can see, that top part that used to hang over like my little bang, I used to like hang it over my little eye where I had a little one eye out. Um, that's actually just going straight back now just directly down the center as you can see that and then my sides I just noticed too that my sides are just really really which of course we know that the hair does not mat as soon it doesn't come out of the scalp already matted together but you know you have to have the staging of the matting but uh, stages of the hair matting together but my sides are just really really just congested and just matting and just doing its thing but I'm looking in the mirror that's why I keep looking off I want you to think Alice but um that's pretty much I wanted to as I was going to get ready to do this video I was thinking I was there was a con that I wanted to say um about free forming especially with the type um that I have I'm gonna say it and then I'll go back and and elaborate on it a lot of times, sometimes my head, you know, it's itching or even when I'm letting the water run through it or shampooing it or something, I can't really get under in that scalp. I have to really dig, 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 dig and get that finger in on that scalp because you have the big chunks of hair, okay? And um, that's the only, I would say that's the only downside to Freeforming, or I, I don't want to use the word downside. I guess a con, downside, it's the same thing. But yeah, kind of frustrating. Frustrating is not really the word either because I don't want y'all to think, oh, she's not liking her locks anymore. That's not it. But a con, I'll just leave it as that, is me trying to get under there. Ah, 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 and then I'm finally under there. Okay, let me manipulate that part of my scalp. Ooh. Another part, let me get my finger in, and we are there, type thing. You understand what I'm saying? Like, y'all gonna respond and be like, girl, yeah, we know what you're saying, we know what you're saying. Okay, so then here's my sides, my sides, 
my back. <clears throat> and pretty much everything is, you know, just still doing its thing. I'm no longer cutting anything away. I'm no longer, you know, when I get them wet or in the shower, because look, you see that right there. I'm no longer trying to separate anything or pull them apart. I don't even really think about it anymore. I just wet them and then just do it because they are pretty much um, somewhat. I was going to say some of them are pretty much. You probably see that little scar on my arm. Oh I got a little waffle burn. But um, a waffle maker at the hotel. So I, and just in case y'all saw that. You probably didn't see it. I just brought y'all attention to it now. Girl, stay on track. But um, some of, most of them are pretty much together with what they're going to do some as you saw that I showed you are um, maybe gonna do a little something else you know they just have their own little party going on yeah they do so that's where we are with my locks I wanted to come and show you guys what five years look like if some of you are interested in freeforming or no longer or doing the organic or the neglect method or no longer wanting to palm roll or no longer wanting to tighten them and if you let them grow together this is an idea of what your look could be like because we know locks come in all shapes, form, fashion, all those different things so they will not be exactly like mine but just to give you an idea of what you will encounter just to let you guys know that so this is where we're at at five years and we went to the beach last week and I put a little lemon juice on there with some peroxide I'm trying to get a little color on the end I'm trying to get a little color I don't think it did anything I was out in the sun and stuff but I mean it'll probably just turn over time but yeah, I was like, I'm getting a little sun. Then these are starting to do that. You see the little hairs? And I just rub them back or just tuck them in. I don't, you know, try to flick them down like little with my little toothbrush or anything with my little baby hair, my little gel. <laughs> okay, that's going to be it. I want to put in a little plug for my book. It is has been published on Amazon. You can purchase it paperback or the ebook it is called or titled the lives we live understanding that detours and intersection understanding that detours and intersections are designed to fulfill God's plan for our lives and it is short stories and they're basically showing you um, different characters on how they started out at one point and how God transitioned them to where he wanted them to be or wanted them to go and that sometimes included other people that helped them to get on track so it's a very it's a really easy read but it's very impactful so you know of course Father's Day is coming up if you haven't already gotten your father anything you can definitely get him that on that iPad because you know our parents and our grandparents are trying to get a little hip now they're trying to get the little iPhone the little iPad my mom she has a mini something Mini something. She was like, girl, because I want to make sure I see these pictures bigger and bigger and stuff when y'all send me these pictures. <laughs> but that's it. I will talk to you guys later. This is your girl Naps for ya. Peace out.